Hey guys, welcome back to <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're <laughs> about kind of everything a freshman needs to know coming into Queen Park, so auditions, shows, placements, what everything really just looks like, the dress code. So I know that a lot of things are different with COVID and I don't know what auditions coming into the school are gonna look like, but I do have a video on what shows and classes and everything look like this year. So you can go watch that video if you wanna know what that might look like next year. But yeah, I just really have a lot of things that would be super helpful to freshmen coming in. And I know I would have really liked this information coming in. So let's get started with how the audition works and to get into the program. Okay, so I personally didn't audition at Point Park. I did a unified type of audition. So I think you two are kind of gonna be the main people who speak about how the auditions really work. Did you audition Star? here? No, I auditioned in New York. Okay, so with Kayla. Okay, yeah. So I auditioned here at Point Park. I did the first audition November 10th, I believe. And so in uh, my experience, we all met at the Playhouse, which is our like performing arts. Like the brand new. So the brand new place where we have our big concerts, yeah, shows, big dance shows, and, and whatnot. Musicals. So we all met there with our parents, and they kind of went over some information of what we'd be doing that day. And then they took all the dancers to walk to GRW, which is just around the corner. And they gave us all numbers, and we went into the audition. They placed us in norm number order, just like a normal audition would be. And we started out with ballet, and we did a little bit in the center and a little bit across the floor. Just your average audition stuff, nothing crazy. And then we went and put jazz shoes on and did a little jazz combo so they could see a little bit of that. It kind of depends on who is teaching your audition, what kind of jazz you would do, because yeah. we do everything from more concert style jazz you could say to Broadway style yeah. jazz so it kind of depends on whoever you get all the teachers are super nice so no need to be nervous about anything like that and then we took our shoes off and did some modern and there's no solo portion and no cuts at all so I like the name do cuts yeah mm -hmm. I, it, it makes it less nerve wracking yeah. yeah it's really it about how to get into the school all right so next I'm going to talk about the freshman schedule and just what that may look like I know our schedule was super packed tight. Um, it might be different because of COVID, but do you want to take this one away? Yeah, yeah. And what the schedule looks like. Okay, so basically every dance major, well, freshman dance major, you have ballet, modern jazz, no matter your concentration. Ballet, Monday through Friday, modern, Tuesday through Friday, and jazz, Tuesday through Friday. And ballet, is yeah. 8 a.m. every single day. 8 a.m. every single day. 8 a.m. ballet every single day. Yeah, that gets hard. That yeah, that's good. Rough. Yeah. yeah, so that's basically how that uh, the dance major schedule looks. And then on top of that, you have like your academics who either have oral comm or just English comm. English, English comm, yeah. Um, and then city university life, which is a basic class. just a basic freshman class that you have to do. But that's basically how the freshman schedule looks. The 8 a.m. ballets get hard, but as long as you just keep going and keep yourself motivated, it <laughs> <laughs> makes it a lot easier, especially if you're rooming with other dancers. Yeah. You guys can kind of all get up in the morning together and get each other going. Like 6 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. Okay, so next I want to talk about placements. I feel like I didn't really know this was a thing until we started. So placements sound really nerve wracking, but I promise they're not. So basically, <laughs> what they do is they take the whole freshman class and they kind of divvy you up between ballet, modern, and jazz into. I don't want to say levels, they're not levels, they're more groups on based on your skills and based on kind of what you came in with, just so that some people in the class aren't lost in the sauce and some are ex exceeding like way better than others. So kind of from the placements, they like evaluate you. It's kind of like an audition, but not really. They just want to see where you are basically. So yeah. don't be intimidated by the placements. You're not, it's not really levels. It's just groups of yeah. people who kind of work well together. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. remember, you're already in the school. You're already like, in the school. It yeah. kind of felt like we were like re-auditioning. Trying to prove yourself. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to do that. You're but already, already there, in. I'm already in. Yeah, they just want to see where you're at. Yeah, like, where you should be. Yeah. And rather yeah. than levels, I'd 
say, at least my look on it, is they did it more to get everyone at the same point so that we can go forward together yeah. for sophomore, junior, and senior year. And you don't say, your placements are only for freshman year. Once you get to sophomore year, the schedule's completely different. Yeah, you kind of split up towards your concentration more than your placement groups. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, your placements don't matter after freshman year. It's just to get everyone on the mm -hmm. same level, yeah. Okay, so next we're going to talk about auditioning once you're here for the show. So every single show you have to audition for, and there are three shows a semester. In the fall semester, we have the Winter Showcase, yeah. Contemporary Choreographers, and SCP, which is the Student Choreography Showcase. And then in the spring, we have SCP again, a faculty concert, and then a spring showcase. So the spring and the winter showcases are like the big shows at the yeah. Playhouse. Everything else is in the GRW performance space. The big shows that are at the Playhouse have like low-key famous people coming in to set pieces on you. Um, last spring we had high-key high key, high high key um, yeah. Someone from Camille's Round Company came and set something on us. Someone from Martha Graham's like Martha legit Graham. company yeah. set something on us. Oh, um, who else? Penny Saunders. Martha Martha Nichols, Martha. Contemporary yeah. Choreographers is also like the famous people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Amy Hall Gardner. Amy Hall Gardner. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when will we okay. run? But basically the auditions do happen at night after your full day of classes. It's a lot. But the auditions are usually from like 6.30 to like 10 or 10.30 at night. They're kind Yo, of old. Wait. Freshman year, you really don't do anything but dance, eat, and sleep. Yeah. yeah. Just... And by the way, yeah, we came. Okay, year, just, this is how they do it. Yeah, they changed it for our year, which is like really weird. So we came in right, like we had auditions the first week of school. So like we would have class all day, and not including auditions. the placements. Not including placements. So that was all prior to that. That was orientation week, and it, it's like, don't it's be scared, lot. but you don't know anyone, and you're just auditioning for famous people. Yeah. So it was a lot, <laughs> but. I think it's really good that we have auditions because yeah. you're gonna go out to the real world and be like, oh, this is so normal. Yeah, like so normal. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're all kind of like competing against each other, but you don't need to be nervous for auditions because everyone is just there for each other. Yeah. Like, yeah. our class really hypes each other up during auditions. Supportive, yeah. We're yeah. very supportive. No one's judging no yeah. one. Um, yeah, I just want to say open. that the Point Park in general is such a non-judgmental yeah. thing. Like even just in regular day class, I feel like I never like have to be competing with another girl in the class. Like we're all just like, oh, here to grow. Yeah, like There's if no someone competition. does something good, they're gonna call you out and be like, oh, yeah, it's so good. Like we're really supporting community. But that's why Point Park is so special too. Mm -hmm. Like we're really good community. I did want to specify on SEP the student choreography shows. Oh, um, yeah. It's not just anyone can submit choreography to be able to be a choreographer for the show. It's just like juniors and seniors who are taking composition oh, three. three. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's like their final of that Project. class yeah, to yeah. be um, choreographing for this show. It's not just anyone can come in and choreograph. Yeah, so. yeah and SCP uh, auditions are way less uh, like they're, yeah, they're so more casual. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, have like casual. an hour block of ballet, hour block of modern, hour block yeah. of jazz. And the students are teaching like the combo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's like five or six people auditioning you in each yes. section. But it's like yeah. one combo. So they yeah. kinda like they're chill once you like get comfortable with it. Like spring semester, I was I was like, alright, like, yeah, we got like, this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's cool. It's cool. It's Okay, so I guess one of the last little main categories we have is the dress code. I don't know if anyone would have questions on this or not, but for ballet, it's black leotard, pink tights, and pink shoes, or tan tights and tan shoes. Modern is tight clothing, so you can wear any color leo and black tights, or tight t-shirt, leggings, whatever. There's no baggy clothes because you need to be able to see your body. I would say that jazz is kind of the same as modern, like the tight yeah. clothing to be able to see your body. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's no all shorts, based on, no shorts, no sports bras. No, it's all based on the no midriff. Yeah, tight tank tops, like super tight tank tops, or yeah, just yeah. a leotard and leggings. Um, no like dance pants, yeah. really even. Yeah, um, and yeah. Oh, definitely obviously fun for ballet. Mm -hmm. um, you can wear a pony for, for modern, modern and jazz. jazz. Yeah. yeah.
And with COVID now, no bare feet allowed in the studio. You have to wear socks. I um, like. I like that too. I don't know how that's going to be next year um, for those Gosh, wanting yeah. to come into Point Park. It might yeah. be the same. I hope it's the same. Yeah, but it's the same. We'll see. Yeah. Take it by ear. Modern is like take your socks off, a hundred percent. Yeah. Like jazz, I feel like you can get away with it in the warm up. Yeah. Um, it depends on the teacher too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you guys have anything else major that you would like to give um, advice to the little freshies? All the teachers here are super supportive and fantastic. Love them all. You're you'll grow a lot coming here, like a ton. No, seriously. And you will notice yeah. it so much within the first kind of six weeks of being here freshman year. You will be doing something in class. Let's say someone has Jason, Jason. for modern. Um, Jason. We love Jason so much. But you'll be doing something that, let's say you could have done in placements, and you'll be like, wow, I was a mess trying to do this yeah. in placements, or even just the first week, and now I actually have an idea of how to like support myself and what yeah. I'm doing. Auditions aren't as scary as you think they are, I promise you. You're already in Trust the school. yourself. You're already yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to be proving don't yourself. For yourself. Placements are not a big deal. You will end up where you need to be. Yeah, so yeah. don't don't stress it. Yeah, it's not a competition. Yes. It is it's not, not a competition. At all. Is that yeah. it? I think that might so, be it. Well, that's it, guys. That's all we have for this video. Please subscribe to my channel to hear more about what it's like being a dancer at Point Park. I also have some Disney videos on there if you're interested in that. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to be making more of these videos coming out to really help the freshmen coming in get an idea of what this program looks like. I'm really excited for that. So subscribe and hit the alarm bell so you'll be first to know when my videos come out. Like this video, comment down below if you're thinking about coming to Point Park. Uh, or if you're just, questions. Yeah, if you have any questions, please yeah. email me or DM me on Instagram or anything, or any of us. Yeah. And yeah, that's really all I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you all real soon. Look at, the, look at the pancake. Look at the pancake. pancake. Get it, Lola, oh, get it. Yeah. <laughs> Lola, come here. You want to say bye? She said, she said no. Bye no, from Nona. So thank you guys so much there for watching, go. and I will see you all real soon. Bye. Ew, I did not like that. <laughs> Smart <Yeah. number. laughs> Ew. Love them all, you're old. That didn't make that was not English. That was not English. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you. So thank you. So, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have a lot more open. I'm out of here.